All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome. Today is Sunday the 20th, I believe. It's currently 18 degrees. But we are on our way to the Mid Hudson Reptile Show. Uh, really excited. I was thinking about it last night about what I wanted to pick up. I have more or less a sense. But I'm going in there kind of, um, you know, with a budget in mind. I think everybody should have a budget in mind. As always, you don't want to overspend. Um, but yeah, the ETA is about an hour and 30 minutes. I don't know why I thought it was closer. Um, but I'm in Connecticut, so I have to kind of swing across. But um, yeah, we'll be there exactly at 9 o'clock when they open. Hopefully there isn't too much of a line and um, we're able to get in there and have a good show. So I'll see you guys when I'm in there. This temperament's great. I hope I can make him this way. Oh man, he's nine. Oh, okay. You know I mean? so. All right, I still got nine year olds. It's doing they think. For me, I think eight to nine years old is in their prime for me. As long as you, you know, don't breed them at their third year. I mean, this is about six months old. Okay. Five to six months old. This is probably about. This is probably a little older. I would say. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh, these are milk frogs. This is what I like. These are the baby. These are tree frogs. These are baby milk frogs. Yeah, they're really cool. Uh, Yeah, it's recording. It's going yeah, on. It's only one of those in the world. Oh, nice. Man. I got a bolt pythons a long time ago. Yeah, the hobby's changed a little bit. Yeah. I know it's a lot more uh, possibilities. Yeah. Uh, Thank <laughs> you. 
What's going on, man? Good. I like that camera. Yeah, the DJI. Oh, what's up? Hey, what's up, guys? <laughs> Let me know if you have any questions. All right, man. Thank you. Yeah, I bring them myself. I made them as a way to feed a. Uh, uh, blue tree monitors on boreal animals and everything like that, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I keep blue tree monitors. Thank you, man. Yeah. Wait, why do you need to get my like, pet? Because it's, like, it's sold through a laboratory. It's very good. It doesn't matter when it's Excuse me. Come on, guys. How you doing? Yeah, nobody was really keeping an eye on the gun. They don't move. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What's going on, man? How are you? picture both of them looking at it. Right. Well, like you can post that and you can do it. That one's so nice. Yeah, we can also have it. And uh, like, it's cool. Uh, it's
the gun just dead? Maybe the gun is dead. I don't know. I'm going to take a picture right there. It's just a house of an all right what's up guys so we just wrapped the uh, uh, 2022 mid hudson reptile expo um, it was a good show um, it wasn't a bad show it wasn't a crazy good show it was like a okay show um, First impressions, I thought the size looked about the same as the White Plains Reptile Expo. It had the same sort of amount of rows and, you know, the top, uh, you can go up the staircase and like the auditorium area. Um, I think it was the same size. The only thing I think is uh, it was less vendors there this time. The variety of animals wasn't as much as uh, I'm used to. There was uh, obviously a lot of ball pythons and uh, small colubrids and stuff, but there wasn't really uh, much variety in the sense of like chameleons or uh, other exotic animals, and I think that's going to show up on the video. I have yet to seen the the actual uh, footage. Um, however, I probably apologize in advance because I said I wanted to go ahead and just kind of document everything table uh, by table. Unfortunately, it's just it's impossible. There was way too many people. Uh, there, you know, the only real like empty booths, or I would say, would probably be the the bull python, because everywhere else it was just packed. It seems like people are like kind of over bull pythons, and you know, anywhere else where they have other type of reptiles, Euromastics, bearded dragons, uh, any type of geckos, it was just completely crowded. So, uh, like I said in advance, I just apologize for the video or the quality. Uh, I was recording with a DJI Osmo that I had uh, kind of strapped to my uh, my backpack straps. I went ahead and had it on my shoulder, so I couldn't necessarily see exactly the quality of how well the video was being documented. But you know, it is what it is. Um, I did pick up this uh, small little baby Savannah monitor. Um, paid 30 bucks and that was because I had to kind of like hassle the guy he wanted 35 um, the prices were just a little bit outrageous you know a Savannah Monitor that same booth I have seen them on YouTube do specials of you know 2 for 15 I mean 2 for 25 they're normally $15 each this one I paid $30 for so and the guy would not budge I was saying like hey let's do 2 for 40 wasn't even trying to do that so uh, it is what it is um aside from that what else um yeah like i said man just the the animals were completely overpriced uh, I, I went in there with a budget of 200 dollars. i didn't really want to spend anything more than that and th there was really nothing to buy for under 200 dollars. i mean the i wanted to go ahead and get another boa in order for you to get a nice hypo or something like that, you need to dish out about 175 to 200 dollars. However, they didn't have any there that were either the right size or sort of the right color. That makes sense. And the reason I say that is a lot of the babies that they had there are the really, really small babies, the ones that are like eating pinkies. The really small pinkies you know um when i bought mines if you go ahead and take a look at the video um i think it was like i don't know maybe a couple months old these would look like they just hatched like a couple days ago so you know when it comes to animals like that you can later start to see that you know they're finicky with eating and uh that's kind of why they were priced the way that they were because the ones that were a little bit bigger they were like 225 250 for just a hypo um so i think other than that i mean uh i was the 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 vendors were not really having it in terms of negotiating back and forth with the prices i mean i i 
showed up at 9 10 the, the show opened at 9 o'clock i was there at 9 10 and from 9 10 uh there was only about four animals that i was really interested in. and i was going back and forth back and forth back and forth i left the show at 2 30 uh in the hopes of you know maybe they, they they would get a little antsy seeing how you know the, the the show was about to be over and you know they still had were sitting on these animals and they wouldn't budge at all there was a I want to say a 25 to 30 pound uh, boa there that was for sale. I told the guy 150 and he just wasn't having it. Um, the the geckos, I mean the uh, the tegus. At some point, I started looking at them. Same thing, 200 dollars for the babies and uh, the adults. They were all scarred up. None of them had their original tails. It was it was. Uh, I've seen better, I would say. But again, it, it might have something to do with the season and the fact that, you know, we're still in February. As soon as the spring comes around, more animals are widely available. That's probably the reason why. Um, so what I'm going to try to do, this is more of a little bit of a project just for the YouTube channel. I'm not really interested in Savannah monitors. I never really was. Um, however... I feel like this is a really nice project just because I saw a small sub adult there, which by the way, they wanted $50. And I was just like, there's no way because when I first got there, they wanted $20 for them. And I should have gotten them. And then out of nowhere, they just kind of changed it. And they were like, oh, well, they're 50 now. So, um, but anyways, like I said, I, I went ahead and uh, purchased this. I'm going to go ahead and try to do, you know, uh, I'm not really that excited about it because again, these are wild caught animals. Uh, they're very high, um, high chances of them dying. So like I said, I'll try to do my best. I'll try to keep you guys updated. I'm going to be posting a video uh, probably tomorrow of the enclosure and how I keep it and how I prepare. I also bought a couple of things from the, from the show. Uh, bought some, some worms and some dubia roaches so um but again i'm gonna let him kind of let him or her kind of settle down i'm gonna prepare the cage i'm gonna have it temperatured up and then um you know just kind of let it relax for today and tomorrow uh, maybe later on i'll make a video just feeding it see if it'll try to eat but i know that you know this animal is maybe like uh only a couple days old you can tell um and so, you know, it's still all over the place. I'm gonna go ahead and let it acclimate to the cage before I go ahead and really start messing with it. But um, yeah, like I said, uh, not a really good show, not a bad show either. Um, hopefully I get to see, you know, hopefully we got some good content and I was able to get some stuff on film. And uh, I will shoot another video when I get home of me taking her out, him, her out, taking it out and put it in the cage and then you know we'll go from there so peace